Hello, this is Patrick with 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this video is take a look at the brand new multiple pocket strategies provided by 1CNC XR5. Now, in this example, we're going to take a look at the model toolpaths. These toolpaths are specifically designed for solids and surfaces. In this example, we've got a solid model, and we have three pockets. So let's head over to the main toolbar. We're going to select model toolpaths, and we're going to use our Z level rough. Now, I already have a tool selected, and I'm not too worried about speeds and feeds right now. My clearances look good, but if you'll focus your attention underneath the diagram here, we have some brand new options. We have multiple pocket order. This is the one we're taking a look at. Now there's two options, there's by pocket and by level. If I select by pocket, what's going to happen is one CNC is going to cut each pocket all the way to depth using the cut increment and then move on to the next pocket, cut it all the way to depth, and then to the next pocket, cut it all the way to depth. Now if I were to change by level or select by level, What's going to happen is one CNC is going to perform the first depth of cut on each pocket, and then the second depth of cut on each pocket, and then the third depth of cut, and so on for each pocket, which is really a good strategy if you have thin walled pockets. Let's demonstrate. I'm going to change this to by pocket. That looks good. I'm going to enter by using a helix 45 degree ramp there. Our depth of cut is 125 thousandths. I'm going to pick a boundary. I'm going to select this circle right here to constrain our tool pass to the top of that boss. All right. Now, when working with solid models, you always want to start just a little bit above, or excuse me, a little bit below the very top of the model. So I'm going to say minus 0 0.001. All right. And for the bottom of the pockets, it really doesn't matter because one CNC is not going to violate the solid model. I'm going to type in minus one inch. I know that these pockets are minus 375 thousand, but that's fine. So we'll click finished on that. There's the boundary. That's going to constrain the the pockets to that area right there and I'll right hand mouse click. Okay, so one CNC scanning the solid model. There's the pockets. Now let's simulate this. Let's head over here to simulate. That all looks good. We're going to use stock model and click OK. And here we go. So there's the first pocket cutting all the way to depth. Now we're machining the second pocket all the way to depth. And then finally we'll move on to the last pocket and we'll cut that one all the way to depth. Now that's because we use that strategy called by pocket. Now let's quickly come in here and change this now to by level. So we'll just pop over here, change this to by level. That looks good. All that looks fine. I don't need to repick the boundary, so I'm going to say no. I'll use the same exact boundary that we used before. So now this is by level. Let's simulate this. We'll head back in here. Going to use that stock again. So there's the first depth of cut on each pocket and then it'll perform the second depth of cut and it'll just repeat that for every single pocket again that's a great strategy if you've got thin walled pockets alright so to summarize the multiple pocket strategies are exactly the same whether you're using our solid tool pass or if you're using our stock tool pass here they work exactly the same way thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video